Greetings, it's Kimberly Sherry, International Energy Healer, helping you lead a life of wealth without worry. Happy Friday, here for Friday's inspiration. And if you're saying it's not Friday here, <laughs> that's because it's Friday in Australia. So every Friday at 11.11, I do my Friday's inspiration from wherever I am. So right now I'm in Australia. And uh, what I want to talk about today, hey Giselle, um, and MJ, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Great. Good to see you guys here. Um, so what I want to talk about today was affirmations and, <laughs> and, um, when they work. So it's not like affirmations don't work. They, they can work. Uh, hey, Jack. Good to have you here. Um, and Lakshmi. Great. Uh, so, <laughs> So affirmations, um, they're usually said, uh, and so most of you that come on here know all about law of attraction and how like energies attract like energies. So that's what affirmations are about. And the sort of the premise behind it is that if you say it enough times, then you'll believe it. <laughs> and, and then you can start sending out that frequency. Uh, but the reason that, hey, today, huh? Um, the reason that these affirmations don't work for some people is because there's conflicting beliefs that are stronger than the affirmations that they're saying. And they may have, you know, 20, 100, I don't know, <laughs> opposing beliefs to their few affirmations. And so it's not going to be enough to shift the vibration, to shift the frequency. <clears throat> so there's a... Um, there's a few things that I wanted to share about. Uh, it, so I, I kind of um, do this. I think that most people have affirmations backwards, is that they're trying to say the affirmation to try and create this new vibrational frequency that can then attract what it is that they really want. And I think that that's backwards. Um, I think a much faster way of creating what you really desire uh, and then using affirmations is by first raising the vibration up to where everything you desire exists and then you use the affirmations to help keep you in that high vibration and then the affirmations will be more believable because you know if you're if you're saying an affirmation oh my money flows effortlessly and easily and I feel abundant and and then you go and you look at your bank and you think hell no it's not that's not true then you're not going to be able to have that supporting belief. <clears throat> However, if you were to do a specific, uh, and a lot of people have lots of ways of clearing energy. I have a very specific way um, of not only clearing energies, but raising your money vibration. And then you say those affirmations, that's when things really work. So I'll just give you um, an example uh, here while I've been in Australia. Um, there was, uh, there's someone who I was, um, visiting with. So we decided to do a little energy work and she was having problems selling a house. And, um, even though she has written on her bathroom, I am enough on her mirror. So every day she sees that I am enough. I am enough. Um, however, this house hadn't sold in like eight months. They've just been trying and trying and trying. So what we did is we, um, so I did an energy clearing on her, raised her money vibration, included the house in that. And uh, the following day, in, some inspections showed up. So the things already started to move. And um, then, so the way that we supported that is she has um, a meditation chant that she likes to do, uh, the Buddhist chant, Nam Yoho Renge Kyo. So um, we did that, and um, a day or two later, that house sold. Um, she had another house that was also uh, really struggling to sell, and there was another person involved with this house. So we did another energy clearing, cleared that person out of the house, and um, within four days, I think, uh, that house sold. <laughs> so it was uh, pretty phenomenal. So this is how you can um, use affirmations to make things stick, is you have to clear the vibrational frequency first, raise the vibration, and then say the affirmations, because then the affirmations will be, be believable. Then the affirmations are gonna help support that new high vibration. 
uh, there's one of the things that I use to help, um, you know, I, of course I do my own clearing and I have a very specific system to do that, but I also know the importance of reprogramming. So y yes, I can take out old programs and find the beliefs that are not yours, that are not true, and we can release those, but then you need to reprogram with some powerful affirmations. So the one that I use is by Alexander Wilson. So he, um, it's not only affirmations, but there's, um, you know, sound things that are happening so that it's going on both sides of the brain. And, and so you have all these things that are going on to, to help reprogram the brain. So that's, um, one of my favorite ones that, that I use, but you know, find what works for you. And if you're, um, still struggling to raise your vibration, uh, you might want to check out some of the things that I offer and uh, be able to raise your vibration from there. So uh, today I'm, I'm just going to put on um, a link to my store and you can see what's available. Um, there's things that are free. There's free meditations. There's little mini courses that start at $7. There's a membership where you can get a um, the Q&A. You can ask me a question once a month and I do a meditation on the third Sunday. Um, so there's lots of things that are available. My free book, yeah, be sure to get that. It's got three really important tips on, on how to run your energy in a very specific way to help raise that vibration by releasing those lower vibrating energies. So there's lots of stuff available. <clears throat> it's, uh, you know, right now people are gearing up for the, the, summer so uh, the winter solstice and also this this change of the year so um if you're planning ahead ideally you're not so much in present time that you're not at least planning for the future and working with the energies so i like to work with the energies of the new moon and the solstices so we have the solstice coming up on what the 21st 22nd somewhere right there and so this is a really pivotal time to plant seeds and also uh, getting ready for this next year. I, I can just really feel that this is gonna be a very powerful year, at least for me. And so I'm gearing up, I'm planning, I'm making plans. I've been planting my seeds every new moon, every solstice. And um, you know, this January, uh, January 6th, I'm gonna be doing my mentoring program um, for the final time. And uh, you know, as I've been working with this um, program I, every time I just keep improving 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 it so that now it can be something that I can just uh, sell as a complete program online so if any of you are have been you know thinking of working with me this is over three months every week we get together for really powerful teachings I teach all of what I do how to apply the system to so many things whether it's your relationships your health your business your life <laughs> and so um you know if you've been thinking of working with me this is a, a really powerful way to get 12 weeks of really uh condensed help and support because we we do this clearing every single week and then you get to get your vibrational temperature three times a week so that you stay on track so it's a really powerful program and it's the last time that I'm going to be doing it live. So uh, Jan, the reason I picked January 6th is that's a new moon. It's the begin beginning of the new year. So you can set your intentions for that first quarter and for the whole year, lay a foundation. So uh, it's really going to be very powerful. I'm only taking 8 to 12 people. And um, so I, I'm going to put a link to my store, my Kajabi store, and you can just see what's available. Just maybe there's something that you'd um, like to explore and discover. So affirmations uh, do work, but really only if you believe them and uh, only if you're in a high enough vibration that they can be supportive. So I encourage you to use this weekend, TGIF, it's Friday, <laughs> or it's Friday here, um, to use this weekend to uh, explore some of the things on here and uh, maybe read that book too. You know, I, the book is 
uh, I can say read the book because it's I only have one chapter in there, uh, but it outlines a lot of really good stuff and some of my uh, story, how I got to where I am now. Because a lot of you that come on and, and listen to me um, every week don't may not even know my story. You know, you think you see me being really successful. Here I am in Australia for a few months, and I was just in Bali for a few months. I've been in Peru for a few months, and so you know, I'm just living my dream now. Uh, what I've always wanted to do is teach and do my healing from anywhere in the world. So I'm living my dream, but you know, I, I haven't, this was not fed to me on a silver platter. You know, I at one point was suicidal, was on food stamps, was on the side of the road in my motor home, <laughs> nearly homeless. And so, you know, I've come a long ways of, of deprogramming myself from a, a being raised in a religious cult. So, uh, you know, a lot of things that I've, I've worked through. And so I am super excited about this year because I keep asking my favorite question, how does it get any better than this? And it works, right? It's a, it's a great question and I've asked it so many times that now I can just be in that state of wonder because I would say that, you know, um, how does it get any better than this? And then stay in that blissful question of, I wonder, so that you're always in a state of wonder. I wonder how things get better, better than this. I mean, this is amazing, but it can get even better. It always can get better, always. And so to me, that, that excites me. Well, I'm really excited about this next year. And so if you'd like to come on board, um, oh, sweetie, yes, uh, maybe we can talk a little bit later today, Lakshmi. Um, so I, I really hope that you'll uh, maybe explore some of these things and, um, you know, because I am just going to keep, I'm keep going, <laughs> I get upward, onward, expanding, growing. And so if you've thought of coming on board, you know, this is a really, really good time to get some powerful, condensed one-to-one -one work over 12 weeks with my mentoring program. So that's listed on the site with a bunch of other stuff. So um, TGIF, and I hope you have a great weekend. I know I am really enjoying Australia's summer here. This is really great. And, uh, you know, whoever would have thought that I would be spending a summer in Australia. Australia just seemed so far away that uh, it just didn't even seem possible. And yet here I am. So um, it's uh, beautiful. And I thank you all for joining me today. And I will see you next Friday, um, if not sooner. Uh, today is the last class of the current 12-week program. Uh, mentoring program so we're gonna be um, wrapping that up today so excited about that but anyway uh, enjoy your weekend and uh, until we meet again sending much love namaste <laughs>